Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making some sherry cookies. As far as for ingredients, we're going to be using cookie dough recipe, realizing recipe, rolling pin with uh, some spacer bands, Ziploc bag, or if you prefer to use piping bags and piping tips, it's totally up to you. Then red, green, and black. Black is optional. Gel food coloring. I would suggest you to stick with gel food coloring because if you use liquid coloring, it's going to kind of change the texture. And your scrap tool. Now for the recipes and the DIYs, I'm going to put all the links below so you can check them out. Now the cookie dough is sugar cookie dough recipe, but if you want to, you can always add some like sherry flavoring to the recipe. We're going to start by just working with the cookie dough itself. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be using my rolling pin with my spacer bands and this comes handy because you're going to get the same thickness all over your cookies which is going to make them look a bit more professional and a look cuter. Once my cookie dough is all flat and ready for me, I'm just going to start by cutting it and I'm just using this round cookie cutters that I bought in a set and so I'm just going to cut as many round cookies as I can. Then that goes to the oven for about 8 to 12 minutes. Keep an eye on that because every oven is different. I'm going to bake them for about 350. Don't over bake them because over baked cookies are kind of, uh, in general, they are a bit hard when you eat them. Once it's done, we're going to work on the first design, which is the sherry one. It's pretty simple. You're just going to first outline with your royal icing your cookie and then fill that in. And then you're going to be using your uh, scribe tool to just kind of get rid of the air bubbles and make sure everything is just uh, smooth and even. Then we're going to let it dry. So once that's dry, I'm going to start working with my cherries one at a time. It's going to be um, pretty much a big circle or a big uh, dot. And I'm going to just first uh, the outline, then the filling. And then I'm going to be using my scrap tool just kind of remove all the air bubbles. And before it dries and to make this cookie a kind of 3D-ish shape, I'm going to just add some shine to my cherries just by adding this white shape. And then I'm going to just with my scrap tool kind of uh, smooth everything. So once my first cherry has crusted, which means it's kind of dry in the top, I'm just going to go and apply my second cherry, which is going to be next to it, pretty much doing the same thing. The reason I waited a bit for it to, for the first cherry to dry is because I don't want them to blend. I want them to look like um, 2D or 3D cherries. Doing the same thing, applying the same white shine to it, so they look like nice and juicy. Once my two cherries are starting to dry and they are have crust, I'm just going to add the stems, which is just green realizing, applying that from the top of the cherry towards the middle part of the cookie. Once that's done, I'm going to just be working on my leaves, which is just pretty much this shape, the shape of a leaf. And then making sure I remove all the air bubbles with my scrap tool. Going to wait a bit for it to dry and work on the other side as well, doing the same thing pretty much. I'm not really sure if you're able to tell or not, but I did use two shades of green, one lighter that goes on the top, which is the one that I'm applying right now. And the kind of darker on the bottom part, I just wanted to have like um, kind of a more light towards the top of my leaf to make the illusion that it was like fluffier, I don't really know. Blending it and just making it um, kind of 2D-ish or 3D-ish. So this is it for like the basic stuff. Now if you want to have more like a cartoonish look to it or maybe you want to, you know, your cherries to pop a lot more, you can always outline with some black icing your cherry. And this is, as you can see, is going to give the illusion that the cherries are like super tweedy or just more like a cartoonish feel to them as I said but you can leave them with or without it, it's up to you the same design is super easy we're going to pretty much just draw some stripes across the cookie first I'm going to be working with the white realizing first making the outlines then filling that in and then working with my scrap tool to remove any air bubbles or anything like that and then I'm going to just apply three lines or three stripes across the cookie so once that's dry, I'm just going to go back to my red, the red that I use for my cherries, and I'm just going to pretty much fill the empty spaces, doing the same thing, first the outline, then the filling, and then working uh, with my scrap tool to make sure it doesn't have any air bubble and everything is just 
nice and even. So a small tip that I have for you is every time you apply like um, a surface of real icing, just shake your cookie a bit. It's going to help to remove any air bubbles. And there is the second sign. You can always add like the line that I added before on my share cookies, but this time it's all around the edge of all the cookie. Pretty much it's up to you. Let me know which design you like the most. If you like these ideas, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and share it if you want to. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.